Good day to all of you. My name is Gloria Chong Ying Le. My name is Eva Park Pai Wen. My name is Chan Chao Ho Yen, but you can call me Melody. Let me start by telling a life journey of a child. A child named Sarah started to show symptoms of depression and anxiety at the age of 12. Is that a real name? No, it is not, Eva. How do you know that she has depression and anxiety? She has always been an outgoing person and loved the outdoor. When she was 12, she started to withdraw herself from her friends, cry a lot and often skip school. Seriously? Yes, it is. Soon, she decided to start seeing the school counsellor and inform her parents. Eventually, Sarah's illness improved with the help of medication, support from her parents and teachers. Oh, okay. Why are you telling all this, Gloria? Did you know that one in eight of the children aged between 5 to 19 years old have mental disorder? It is increasing and becoming more common. Statistically, children aged 12 to 17 have the highest percentage in depression and anxiety. All the more in a time of COVID. Oh no, I have eight siblings in my family. Gloria, you are saying that one of us will have mental disorder? Well, not necessary. Phew, what a relief. Child mental disorder increased due to the chemical imbalance in brain, DNA, environmental stress, and many more. Then how do we know if we have child mental disorder? Symptoms, Melody. Symptoms included those experienced by Sarah. However, children who experience a mental health problem have not had appropriate intervention at a sufficiently early age. Have you heard? Recently, the Ministry of Women, Family and Community Development in Malaysia also raised the concern of increasing child mental disorder in Malaysia? Yes, I have. However, 528 counsellors in Malaysia is not enough to solve the problem. Research has shown that depression is caused by the imbalanced chemical in the brain causing reduction in the neurons. This also causes changes in the function of nerve receptors and nerve system in the neural network. I believe that when we inject the IPS stem cell into the brains of the patient, the IPS stem cell can rebuild the damaged serologic and norepinephrine neurons and help to increase their production. IPS stem cells have been widely used to rebuild cells, tissues, and organs, such as blood cell, cell in the eye retina, kidney, and many more. Are you sure? Elon Musk has already invented the Neuralink chip. You are so outdated. Well, IPS stem cell is a safer way because IPS stem cell can help to reduce the percentage of being rejected by the body's immune system as it is familiar to the human's body. Mental disorder is a serious illness. How can we help them? You know, early detection is important. I have invented a non-invasive medical device, which is a combination of a watch and a spectacle. You must be kidding. How can a watch and a spectacle detect mental illness? The watch has a predictive algorithm to detect irregular heartbeat and to track a person's daily activities, the amount of sweat and the temperature of the body. How sure are you? I am certain, Melody. Timing and amount of irregular sweat is an indication of anxiety. It also uses an electronic sensor to detect the hormones in the body. The spectacle is used to detect the movement of the eyeball and retina. Furthermore, this device will be sent signal to the parents, guardians, or any designated adult when the mental illness is critical. Wow, can I try? Yeah, come and try. I bet you'll love it. We hope that our innovation and idea will be able to reduce the number of children with mental disorder. Last but not the least, parents also play an important role in providing loving environment to the children. Thank you for listening.